Fosstube friends. It's time for another episode and it is. It's time for another Fun Friday Fosstube weekly update with me. I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher both here on YouTube and on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me tonight for a uh, weekly chat about what I stitched on, any stash that stashy stash that arrived, and any other fun occurrences here on this cross stitch video. This is a video about cross stitch and occasionally some other crafts. Today is Friday, June 26th, and this is floss tube number 58. 58. And we are, this is the last floss tube of June for me. Um, last weekly update floss tube for June. That might have alluded to the fact that there's going to be a special edition video some point next week, and I will get to that during the plan portion of this. So what do we have in store for today? Um, we're gonna chat about what I stitched on. We're gonna chat a little bit about plans moving forward both into the next week and into, into July. We're gonna show some stash. We're gonna talk giveaways because this is the video I am choosing my 2K subscriber giveaway winners. And maybe a little life update thrown in there just general chat as well. And let's start off with some thank yous. So thank you so much for those who are returning viewers and returning subscribers. Um, your comments each week bring me so much joy and I really enjoy being part of this community. If you are new here, um, either since my last video or in the last couple of videos, let me just extend you a warm welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Friday evening, Saturday day, Sunday morning, whenever you watch, choose to watch my video. Or if you're like me, you might be a few weeks behind on um, your floss tube watching. I have said many a times, I am a completionist. If I've added it to my playlist, I watch it in order. So I'm a few videos behind on some of my favorite folks. Um, what have I been watching this week floss tube wise? I have been enjoying a lot of, um, this will tell you how far behind I am, some Mania wrap-up videos um, and 1st of June videos. So I have been watching, of course, my gals over at Just Keep Stitching, Pam and Steph. Um, I need to binge them and get caught up. I adore their videos. Um, I believe this last week or maybe the week, I think this last week I bought their, uh, the 20% off chart from Twin Peaks Primitives because it was a Noah's Ark chart and it is awesome and I don't have a printout of it to show you. Um, that might have been last week's chart. And I have been catching up with Stitch and Mommy, Sarah, um, Garrett Coffee Stitcher, Michelle Koziag, Michelle G. Bendy Stitchy. Oh my gosh, so many good floss tubes. Uh, Becca Sambry Stitches. Aaron G. Martini Stitcher, Sunshine Stitchers, who just had Michelle G. I have not watched that episode yet. I am a little bit behind on them as well. I'm behind on everybody. But I've really enjoyed um, watching videos, seeing everybody's kind of mania recaps and what June was going to look like. And um, so, yeah, uh, go watch some Floss Tube. And I do link anybody that I mentioned just now in the description box below. You click that little down arrow and it'll bring up all kinds of information. I usually max out the characters with all the information that I give you. And uh, one disclaimer, it will not be there until tomorrow, usually in the morning. Um, I just like to get this uploaded and I do all the description box in the morning tomorrow. So I think where we're gonna start today, since we've done a little bit of thank yous, um, and one more thank you. Thank you to all of you who weighed in on my pandemic uh, long dog samplers pandemic chart and the flosses I was considering. I will talk a little bit about that in plans um, because I've come up with a plan for that. So let's talk giveaways. So let me refresh you on what the giveaway items were and then I'm going to cut you into a clip. I went ahead and pre-recorded um, choosing the winners um, via random YouTube comment picker. And so that'll come after I show these and then I'll cut back in and share with you my thoughts on how awesome you all are. 
So the first prize pack was some, well, these are all kind of my favorite things. But number one included a Lori Holt design board. This is the 14, uh, the 10 by 10 size. I know they've come out with a seven by seven, but I bought this before that came out. Some um, It's So Emma finishing tape, which is awesome. Some Access Commodity thread drops and a Heart and Hand Merry Making Mini 4th of July. And hopefully the person that won this is fairly us oriented or somewhere close oriented so they maybe could get this and get it kitted and started for fourth of july so that was number one number two was some more of my favorite things it included a love you more studio co uh, book pouch project pouch uh, in the kind of standard size it included a fat quarter of dying for cross stitch 18 count um, fabric this was the may fabric of the month and some that Victorian Motto Flosses. There's five of them in here. Some beautiful um, kind of pastels that would make a fun summer or spring stitch. That was number two. Number three is Bent Creek's Gnomes in the Garden Row and a Dinky Dyes assortment pack. Um, this was an Oops pack, so it includes 20 skeins. They're not full skeins, but they're all workable skeins plus a few extras. So this was number three. Number four was oops, um, a chart set. So these are the two kind of um, collaborative charts, the sewn in friendship charts from Plum Street Samplers and Heartstring Samplery. You will be getting both. And number five was the um, Garon Totten Bags bag set, the 12 by 13 of the Summer Quakers and the five by six mini bag. And then number six is the June bag of the month with goodies from um, Stitch Toolbox. And it's a camping theme bag. So, good luck to all in getting chosen for hopefully the prize you would like to win. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, cut away to that video and then we'll be back to chat about it. So, hold, ooh, sorry, hold tight. Hello everybody, I am going to be doing the uh, random comment picker for the uh, six giveaways for my 2K celebration. So I have copied the link of the video, the Floss Tube number 56 video, into the YouTube random comment picker. Here is the link. I'm going to start with the giveaway for number one. So I'm filtering it based on the specific task, text, excuse me, of number one. So we're gonna get our YouTube comments for giveaway item number one. And there were 212 unique commenters. And we're gonna go ahead and pick our winner for number one. The winner is Sanctum Stitching. Says, thank you so much for this op opportunity. Congrats, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fawn from Sanctum Stitching Floss Tube. Congratulations, Fawn. All right, we're gonna go back up and put in the text two. Let's get our comments. Oh, there were 309 unique commenters. So let's pick for this item. The winner is Linda H. Congrats on reaching 2K. I am so glad to hear you're getting some relief on the medical front. So one, two, three, four, five. Keep staying safe and well. All right, C congratulations, Linda. All right, we're gonna come up here and do the drawing for number three and get our comments. See how many folks wanted item number three. 278. So let's do our random pick. Dawn Eck. I am so glad you're feeling better and finding your stitching groove. Thank you so much, Dawn. And you had one, two, three, five, and six. Be well and stitch on. Congratulations, Dawn. You are winner of the prize pack number three. So now we're going to do prize pack number four. Let's get our YouTube comments generating. There were 177 who were interested in number four. So let's see who has been chosen for that item. 
Phyllis Lundy. I'm a fairly new subscriber. It's probably the second or third time I've seen your video. She was looking at one or four. Congratulations, Phyllis. You won price pack number four. All right, two more to go. So let's look at price pack number five. This one seemed pretty popular. So let's see how many people were interested in that bag set. I believe that was number five. 268. So let's see who is going to win that prize. Pam Ripley, glad you're feeling better. And it says, I look forward to each of your videos. Thank you for keeping it real. She was looking for one, two, five, or six. So congratulations, Pam Ripley. I will be in touch. All right, one more. We're gonna look for number six. Lucky number six. See how many people, how many unique comments. We are filtering out duplicate users to make it fair. Let's see, it's taken it a while to pull them all. We've got 185. So let's start our raffle and see. Pendra Natstool. I'm sorry if I said that incorrectly. Congrats to 2K. I'm glad you feel better in general. Stay safe and healthy. Two, three, five, and six are my favorites. Congratulations, Pendra, and I apologize if I pronounced your name incorrectly. Thank you so much to all who entered my 2K giveaway. I'm gonna send you back to the regular video. See you all soon. Right. So congratulations to all the winners. Um, I will be in contact soon. You are welcome to send me an email to joy.filled.stitcher at gmail.com. Um, I will go back to the original video, video number 56, and comment on your comment to let you know how to contact me. Um, I, there will be a little bit of a vetting process just to make sure that you are who you say you are. Because sometimes email addresses and YouTube names don't match, don't drive. So just to make sure that they get sent to the proper people. All right, so this week has been awesome in lots of respects. Maybe not so much in stitching. Um, I didn't get near as much accomplished as I would have liked to have gotten. Um, I got off on some tangents. We had other things going on. I played some Animal Crossing a lot of Animal Crossing. Um, I kitted up a bunch of stuff and so I'll talk a little bit of that, about that in plans. And so I did stitchy adjacent things or things of that nature but I didn't get near as much stitching as I would have liked to. I got quite a bit done but not near as much. So let's start with um, I did not have any finishes or fully finishes and I had no starts. So we can skip those two categories altogether. And we're going to start with my 100 stitch a day project. Um, I pick a project on my wheel during my plan section of my video to stitch on 100 stitches each weekday the following week. This is still on the cue snap because I have today's stitches to put in this. This lives in a fun um, project sleeve that I sewed using um, kind of I made it up as I went along. But there is a good video that's similar to my process that I will link below for making these. And this is Lizzie Kate's Cherish All Living Things. And um, it has a lot of fun, bright flosses. I am stitching this on a piece of 18 count mystery die from Be Stitch Me. And I put in quite a bit. Um, I did all of this green, all the green of the plants, this part of the mountain, and these two green trees. So I did quite a bit over the last four days. It's a very fun quick stitch. I love Lizzie Kate's for that reason. Um, so I have some plan to do this evening if there's time or I will squeeze it in tomorrow somehow to make sure that I get in my five days. Um, although most days this week I got over a hundred. So I probably have evened out to a hundred a day. That was loud. But I am, um, I'm gonna make a ride on it this week. All right, so next up, in no particular order, I did work a little bit more on Elizabeth Cooper. Um, this is a So Much To Love bag. It's a big bottom bag that I got off of Stash Unload, but I know she still does sell this size in her shop. And this is Elizabeth Cooper by Sassafras Samplers. This is still free on their website. Um, I will link that below. And it's the Jesus Wept sampler. 
and my printer does not do a very good job. This is on a, I'm stitching this on a 28 count mystery linen. Um, and I'm doing the over one slash over two version. And I did kind of beef up some of my colors, brighten them up a little bit more from the original. And I got a fair amount of progress in this. I finished the remainder of the gold in the border. So all the way around. And then I started on my second color of the border. So um, I did, this was a deviation on this kind of really neat, um, let me show you the floss. So that is this one. And I believe it's color and cotton. It's similar to chestnut or it might be chestnut. Let me see if I wrote it down. It is color and cotton chestnut. And um, I liked the richness of it with this color. And that color is... Victoria Motto Antique Pumpkin Glow. So anyway, I really like this. Um, I would like to say it's going to come back out this week, but I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it very seriously. So it will come back out soon, and the borders is nice, kind of easy stitching. Um, it's a pretty regular border. It doesn't have too much funny business in it, especially after you get that first go round. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will come back out sooner than later. All right, this project lives in a Garon tote bag. This is my Downton Abbey bag. This was my first foray into Garon tote bags and I have not looked back since. And this is my Downton Abbey piece. This is by, I believe it's EXE Handmade on Etsy. I will link below. And I am stitching this on a 16 count picture this plus in Sprite, which is a nice light lavender color. And as you can see, I am still working in the same, the same color. Um, but it's starting to take a little bit more shape. I think once I get all of this first, I'm kind of color completing. So once I get this whole first color in, it will make filling in some of the other ones. And you know how I've said in the past, I dislike stitching houses. Well, this is a massive house. You know, it's de it's devious. Because when you look at it like in this size, it doesn't seem that big. Even when you look at it in the like printout size, <clears throat> doesn't seem that big. Oh no, that's very small gritting. <laughs> so it is very large. Um, and I'm enjoying it, but again, it's just. I'm not sure I understand. Well, Siri, I'm sorry that you don't understand. I don't know why you're even on. Um, so I think I have to be in the right mindset for just blocks of color like that, like massive blocks of color. So I really haven't been so much. Um, let's see what's next. All right. So this is a so much to love bag. Erin to Martini Stitcher and I are bag twins with this precious French squirrel bag. They are fancy with their little acorn berets and their little striped sweaters. And this one holds um, the Blue Flower Autumn Drum. And this is an exclusive um, a limited edition kit by Acorns and Threads. I called them last fall and they still had them. I don't know if they still have them, but you're welcome to give them a shout. It is beautiful. It is a full kit that is kitted completely in silks, both silken colors, Gloriana and Belswa. I shouldn't say both, all three of those beautiful silks and it came with lakeside linens 40 count vintage pecan butter it was my first foray into 40 count and it's a gorgeous piece of fabric here are the colors so you can see very beautiful palette of silks and i am still working on the top of the piece um, and what i worked on is i got the rest of this little cute scallopy border done and the tops of these acorns um so the next time this comes out i will finish those acorn tops and then just keep going um, i'm saving the over one for the last on the the top of the drum i will likely excuse me i will likely finish that 
last last because it I believe it's your initials and the date um and then I'll kind of after I finish the top with the exception of the over one I'll move to the banding around the side so that's a fun project I was kind of dreading that coming back out because the 40 count I again have to be in the right headspace for it but that linen is amazing amazing lakeside linens amazing and it's so hard to come by um so this another garon tote bag this was um the february bag of the month and i think it fittingly holds my blue flower this is kind of a blue flower week blue flower winter valentine i am stitching the no words version and i think the call pretty much the called for it is still on my cue snap because i was still working on this last night I am stitching this on a piece of Picture This Plus 28 count in ale. And this is a linen. Um, let me take this bar off. Um, I have I had finished the female cardinal and I have started in on the male cardinal. And this is such a fun stitch. Such a fun stitch. And I really like this piece of linen. Um, I in my opinion, it is tighter than a, it feels tighter than a normal 28, but that's I think a little bit of I'll picture this plus dyes their linens and even weaves and natives and everything so i did put some time into that and it will likely um have some more time this weekend before it gets put away and then the last project i worked on lives in this awesome bag my joy bag one of my joy bags and this was uh, sent to me by one of my super awesome friends she, who's a viewer um mandy and she made this for me she made the other one as well and this one holds one of my most favorite current stitches that I can't wait to get back to. And that is a uh, Teresa Kogut United We Stand. And I just adore this. I am stitching this along with many other folks. Um, stitching with the Sisterlies and Becca Sambri Stitches are hosting a stitch along, which is hashtag SWTS United. I also used this to stitch for um, EJ um, of the Sunshine Stitcher. She's EJ Creates on Instagram. She created two hashtags and uh, started a sal last Friday. Um, and it was hashtag representation matters sal and hashtag diversity and inclusion sal. And I'm stitching this on, and I will put those correctly down below. I'm stitching this on a piece of, I'm looking for my tag, so I know it wrote it down somewhere, here we go. Be Stitch Me, 27 count Linda and Through the Stones, and I'm stitching this over two, so it makes it about a 13 and a half count, and I said that I wanted to get her face finished and her hair, and I did, and I think she is fantastic, fantastic. I feel like these girls, once they're finished, are going to need names. And I haven't come up with them yet. But I adore this. This skirt. Woo! It's going to be a lot. So the next time I pull this out, my plan is to go ahead and outline this precious girl's skirt. Then kind of bounce back and start filling in some skirt work. Maybe even put in there some detailing at the bottom. And then come back up and you know, work on the face a little bit, but then come down and work on skirt. I think I have to kind of now that I've put in the one face, I've got to put in some work on the skirts or they're just going to be faces with empty skirts because that's a lot of stitching. Um, and I've ramped up a couple of my colors. I deviated a little bit because I didn't have them all. So I beefed up my reds a little bit. They were a little more rusty oranges. So I've beefed them up to more reds. My blues, I think, are the called for, as are the grays and the um, dark, dark blue. So, yeah. Very pretty um, patriotic type stitch. Okay. So, that is all that I worked on. That's it. There was not very much. So let's talk a little bit of plans. So one thing that I am planning to work on this weekend lives in this So Much to Love bag. And this holds my um, entire Heart and Hand Square Dance series. And I am going to be working on June, which as you can see are the cute little popsicles. Now, it's originally called for in pink, light pink, white, and maybe a couple of shades of blue. And then like all the words are in a dark brown black. 
Um, I have pretty much ramped up and changed all of my colors throughout all of this. So just to refresh, that's January, or if you're new here, that's February, March with my birds. Um, April, I did heirloom carrots. So I have purple carrots, gold carrots, brown carrots, orange carrots. May, I did bright flowers. This is probably the closest to the call before, but it's still very different. And let me show you my palette for June, so you can see. So I'm gonna be working with um, all of this, the popsicle sticks are gonna be in Straw Hat, Classic Colorworks Straw Hat. And then I'm gonna be using Classic Colorworks Rain Shower, which is this one, and Coloring Cotton Olympic. So really pretty bright blue. I think this is my border and some of the popsicle detailing. June is going to be in um, Classic Colorworks Queen Bee. And then I'm also pulling back in from other months, Ribbon Red and Ladybug, also from Classic Colorworks. And then my white I've used for all of them so far is Victoria Motto Primitive Stripes. So that usually only takes me about a stitching session and a half. So hopefully that will get done this weekend and I'll have that to show to you next week. All right, other plans. So this also this weekend, I'm going to work on my mystery sampler. You will notice it is absence yet again. It did not come out this week. So it needs to come out this weekend and the beginning of next week if I want to complete my July how I would like to. Um, I'm not saying it has to be finished, but it needs to come out and get a substantial amount of work on it in order for me to feel like I can do Jolly July how I would like to. So before we talk about Jolly July, I am going to go ahead and spin for my 100 stitch project that will be for next week. So I have my all whip tiny decision wheel. Now, if it spins anything holiday, I'm going to re-spin. This has all my whips. I will have a separate wheel for Jolly July when those will get worked on. So let's see what we spin. And I also have the veto power here. Strawberry time, that's a good one. Um, that is a Barbara Anna design. And so I will be working on strawberry time for my 100 stitch. Let me save that so I don't inadvertently forget what I chose. Um, and that's, let me just spin just another fun project just to see if I come across something else I wanna work on this weekend, what it might be. Just to see. With Love Koala. Okay, that was um, Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries. Uh, Australian uh, fire relief pattern and it's on a really fun turquoise linen I have not had that out since I started it so that's that could definitely come out to, to have some fun stitching linen. okay so let's talk about Jolly July or Christmas in July it's called lots of different things and there's lots of people doing lots of different things I have decided to do Jolly joy filled whip you lie because long hashtag, hashtag jolly, joy filled, whip you lie. So there's kind of a lot in there. Jolly, it's gonna be Christmas themed. Everything I'm working on would be Christmas. Now granted, I may pull in some hundred stitch a day, things that are not Christmas. Joy filled, there might be some things in there that just bring me joy, whip, because I want to work on my Christmas whips and you lie because it's July. Um, so I sat down and made a list of my holiday whips, my Christmas, winter, it's pretty much Christmas whips that are still whips. And I think I came up with like 17, 16 or 17, somewhere in there. So I said, okay, originally I had said I was going to do a start every week so that'd be four starts no um if i'm considering doing no new starts 2021 which i am still considering we'll see i don't know we'll see um i am going to be starting enough projects to have 31 projects to work on so basically i'm gonna have a whip wheel so it'll have all the you know the whips 
and then I'm gonna have a new start wheel and the new starts will be on the new start wheel and each day I will actually spin a wheel that's gonna tell me if it's a whip day or a new start day and then based on that I will go spin either my whip wheel or my new start wheel so that's what I've been kidding is all the new starts so I went through all of my charts um, you know ornament magazines things like that and found enough things that I really really wanted to start like I, if I was kind of like eh, I didn't I didn't pick it I even had some Christmas things kitted that I don't want to start right now and I'm like nope mm -mm. I was really like ruthless like I'm picking only the things I really really want to work on so um there is going to be a video up this week before the first I am not filming daily at least not here I might put them up on insta stories instagram stories but i'm not going to do daily videos here you'll see my update at the end of each week um so there will be an extra video talking about my jolly joy filled whip you lie i will walk you through my whips because some of them have not come out in a very long time and then i will walk you through my new starts my kitted things um so I hope that you, if you're planning to do whatever it is you're planning to do, I'm excited to see what everybody's going to be working on in their videos. Um, you're welcome to share below what you're going to be doing. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about 31 projects in July. And then I've got to really stop with the new starts because I don't, that's a lot on there. And then I'm going to add in like 13 more. Yikes. Um, so anyway... Another part of plans that I said I was going to talk about is pandemic. So I shared with you today was the like it closed this morning. So this chart is still available on the Long Dog Samplers website. However, it is now going to, you have to pay for it. I believe Jules mentioned in her final pandemic post in her Facebook group or Facebook page that she had something like 50,000 downloads of this, which is incredible. Um, and I think she did the math on it and that would have been like 1 million pounds. So for those who have not seen this or were not with me last week, this is pandemic. It is a massive, it is a, it is a, it is a bop, a big old project. Um, it is 365 by 429. Um, it is gorgeous. And I had shared with you or, and asked your opinion on which flosses I should choose. And I showed four choices. I showed they were all color and cottons. There was boysenberry, typewriter, Poseidon, and sapphire. Overwhelmingly, it felt like it was between sapphire and boysenberry. I like made the command decision to do sapphire. And I went and bought pretty much everything that color and cotton had, which was about 16 skeins. So I think I've ended up maybe with 20 skeins which is gonna be tight because my math was so far in left field it isn't even funny. So I was like, well, what am I gonna do? So what I've decided to do is because pandemic has left me black and blue is there's a lot of ravens throughout this chart. There's ravens and other birds and other, you know, there's a ton of ravens actually. And there's some other animals and people and different things. So what I'm going to do is the vast majority of it is going to be in sapphire with accents of typewriter. And I'm really excited about this. Now you may say, well, why haven't you started if you're so excited about it? Well, I had to wait for flosses. They came yesterday and I will show that in um, stash. The other thing is, is when I was um, going through comments, and yes, I've read every single one. If I have not hearted your comment, I will. Um, sometimes for some reason, like, I just forget to heart it, even if I've read them all. Um, Jenny, long dog, D-A-W-G, stitcher, who stitches lots of long dogs, said, be careful with over one because your back, the tiny back stitching can get lost in translation, in stitching. And so I was like, great point. So I reached out to Brandy at Be Stitch Me. She on her website, linked below, has a custom order form or you can just email her and I will put her email below as well. I love that Outback Jack. I, 
honestly wanted to do it in 18 count Ada. I don't have any pieces that big and I don't have Outback Jack in 18 count Ada. So I reached out and I said, I really need like her cuts on her website for a half yard would actually not be wide enough. And a full yard's way too big. So I reached out and I said, hey, I'm wanting to do Pandemic on Outback Jack. I have a 27 count Linda that I was gonna do over one, but, I, but the back stitching's not gonna show up. I really wanna do it on 18 count, but this is the size I need. And I think it was 25 by 28 or something like that. Is there any way that I could get that from you? And she said, absolutely. In fact, I'm dying it like this week, so it's perfect. So um, she'll send me an invoice, I'll pay for it, she'll ship it to me. So I'm hopeful that maybe in July I can start it or I'm gonna start it August 1. I don't know when exactly. But that kind of leads us into Joyfield stash stash time. This video is not gonna be very long, folks, I'm sorry. I don't have as much to show this week, but Joyfield stashy stash time. So Joyfield stashy stash time. Um, so needless to say, here are my 16 skeins of sapphire that came in one order because I ordered, so when I was still deciding on colors and I had my wrong math calculations, I ordered like what I thought I needed of each of the colors. Well, clearly I'd lost my mind. So I went on that next day and ordered the remaining 16 sapphires. So if you're looking for sapphire, I'm sorry, I bought them all. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so then I also placed an order, um, like I said, when I was trying to acquire. So I have a slew of typewriter, which is my favorite new charcoal black. So no problem there. Bunch more boysenberry. I think I've got like four boysenberry in here, four typewriter. And then I've got, here I'll show you. I've got like six Poseidon. So when I come across some smaller mon monochrome piece, I have some more floss for them. So I already had four sapphire plus the 16. So I have 20 plus then I have apparently two more. So I did go ahead. Um, these were some of the other colors of the month that are I think still available. Nickel. Um, this one didn't have a picture but I was like oh nickel maybe like a gray. And it is and it's awesome. Um, I ordered another winter sea because I loved that one that came in. Um, here's two more sapphires. And... This one, I think, was another floss of the month, I believe. And this is Vertider, Vertider Blue. I'm not sure. I totally butchered that. So anyway, um, I'm set on blues and boysenberry and typewriter for a while. But that's okay. It's all good. So anyway, um, I'm excited about eventually getting to start that. Um, when I get my fabric, which won't be probably too terribly long. Now, I don't know if she's doing, somebody asked the question, what is FNFN? Because I put that in my notes, because sometimes I get short on, that is Friday night, fight night, FNFN. And that is something that Be Stitch Me does on their Facebook group, it's called Friday night, fight night. And um, like Mystic Fabrics has their Sunday fabric games. And it's where she puts her cuts of fabric that are available in her Facebook group based on count and um, it's first comment, first piece of fabric. Um, each picture is one piece of fabric. And then she invoices and sends them and she does that most Fridays. I don't know if she's having it this Friday, but I will tell you, I think a lot of people have heard from me and Becca and um, Aaron G. Martini Stitcher and Robin, Lady Robins, um, and all the other folks that are buying the Bee Stitch Me, Christy, and all those that like call me out and are like, I didn't think you were shopping this week. Yes, I get sucked in by beautiful fabrics. Uh, so anyway, I'm sure I have some coming from last week. I wasn't gonna participate, but s'mores, it got me. Super cute. Okay, so then from Stash Unload, I ordered these a couple weeks ago. They just got here today. A couple of small charts. I had not seen this one. This is from um, a company called For My Boys. And this is Americana Blooms. And I thought this was so cute. And it's not very big. Um, it's only 63 by 35. And it's kind of interesting how the chart opens. And it calls for six colors of crescent colors. 
which are now, um, you know, obviously classic color works. And this is from 2004, so Americana Blooms. I think the frame is cute, but for sure probably could never find that. Hang them up frame. Hmm. Anyway. And then with that, from that same seller, I'd been wanting this Lizzie Kate snippet. And this is a prayer connection. It says prayer, world's best wireless connection. And I would like to stitch this. I will change the colors and put this in my classroom. It only calls for four colors of Weeks Dye Works with the corresponding DMC or anchor. And then here's another Lizzie Kate. This is Welcome Friends. And I think this is so cute. It's got the two different birdhouses and then the bee scap. Really super cute. It's another small. It's a snippet. Um, so this one's 71 by 40. It's a little bit larger. So got those cute little three charts. Um, I got my, um, I had talked about Annie's Fabric Club. This is the Creative Quilters Fabric Club. This is my last month of it. The first month I used a coupon and got a s incredible deal on it. This, this month, um, it's a little bit more expensive than I'm wanting to spend right now on a club, but I'm happy I got this one because it's really cute. Um, so this month, each month they send you like, I think it's five or six fat quarters and then a pattern. Um, so this selection is the Fresh Picked Collection and that's by Clothworks. So you can see these are the five fabrics, this being my favorite. Um, it's like watercolor flat tea roses and sunflowers and just really super cute. And the pattern this month is actually like a quick clutch that's got a scallop design. It reminds me of House of Stitch and Stash, her new clamshell looking pouches that are insanely gorgeous, but I cannot bring myself to buy one. Um, it reminds me kind of of that. All right, so on Instagram, I have my D stash. I'm way behind on even looking at comments. I promise I will get to them soon. I promise, I promise. And if you've claimed something and it's available, it's yours. Just, I've seen it. It's yours. <laughs> um, there's others who have come out with their D stashes and I shocked one. And it's Allison Rosen. D stash and I'll link it below. It's Allison Rosie Rosen is a crafty girl. It's her D stash and she's kind of multi craftual and so she has had a lot of stuff in her shop. Um, so a couple of things that I've gotten and then I've got a few things that are on an open invoice because she's kind of keeping invoices open now until she's posted everything which I think is really smart. She had a bunch of Victorian motto flosses and she did them in um, 10 yard skeins. And so some of them she still had on the same um, fabric, or not fabric tags, same cardstock tags. But then some of them she put on like luggage tags, which I think is really neat. So this one is Cactus Bloom, Silky Blue, um, Victorian Cranberry 816. And I kind of went for ones that I didn't already have because some of them were overlaps of mine. Olive Orchard and Precious Gold, which is $7.29, which is called for a lot in charts. So that one I got and it was in the, um, on those tags. This one came on the original Victorian Motto tags. This one was a lot of pinks and peaches. So again, you've got Caramel Ripple, Splashy Peach, Monotone, A Sweet Cherry, and Parlor Pink, which is $33.50. I think I have Parlor Pink, but it's a great color to swap in, especially when it gives you the DMC. I don't know if she has any of the flosses left, but I know that she's probably got some fabrics left. Um... She had wools, she had some stitching fabrics. Those went pretty quickly. Um, so yeah. And then this pack had Dearly Rose, which is like a yellow rose. This uh, Cornucopia, which reminds me a little bit of like 436. This one was what drew me into this pack. And this is called Craziest Quilt. And I have not seen one from Nancy that is this highly variegated, but that is so cool, so cool. And then Red Russet and Mining Town, which are both really pretty. So I didn't stop there. She had some quilting fabrics. And so this was a lot she had. 
that had kind of some homespun like ones and it's got some different checks, stripes. Um, I look at these either being good finishing fabrics or um, for project bags or for coordinating for project bags, but they're super soft. They remind me of like flower sack towels. Um, so yeah, those are fun. And then she had sets of Liberty fabrics. I am a huge fan of Liberty of London. Liberty of London fabrics though come in two different like weights. There's the Tana Lawn, which are really light and delicate feeling. And then you've got like your quilters lines. Um, and so this is part of the quilting line. So these came in sets of four a door. These are fat quarters, I believe. That one, I loved this one. So fun. And this one, I got two different sets. I think one of them may have overlapped in each set, but that didn't matter to me because I love them. This one, uh, a door. Oh no, it's a similar print as that Paisley. And then you've got these two. So those were the things that I got from Allison Rose and D Stash. I will link below. I think she still has stuff left, so go check her out. Now, I got some Stitchy Kindness from Bobby. After one of my videos, Bobby reached out to me and said, I have a ton of um, Lizzie Cates that I am not going to stitch or I've already stitched. And you had mentioned that, you know, that would be a great start for Joyfield Little One. And I said, yes, thank you. That's like so generously kind. And I asked if I could send her anything, you know, to obviously offset the cost. She said, no. I said, well, let me at least pay to ship them. She said, no. She said, no, to all of it. And I, I'm just so grateful they arrived today and we've already looked through them. Um, but there's some really fun. I'd never seen this one. This is a waxing moon design. This is Best Teacher. I think that is so cute. So cute. Um, it's a huge apple on there. Huge apple. So we've got a bunch of little small Lizzie Kate. So there's a Flip It June. Um, so these are all fairly small. We've got a Flip It July. I love those strawberries and the candle. We've got another. This is Flip It Bits July. I love that one. Here's a Flip It August. Love this one with the school theme. September, October, November, December. Then she sent me, this is Easter, which is really cute. Then you've got April with the bunny and the chicken. The, I think Joyfield Little One likes this one. Then you've got May, a January, February. March, and I love the little postage stamp ones. March, another March, and then this one is um, Spring String. So this one's really sweet and fun. And then Snow Fun with that cute snowman. So she's got some decisions to make, but it looks like we have a whole, a whole year of um, Lizzie Cates to stitch. And I think these would be fun for her and or me or both. Um, so thank you so much, Bobby, for, for reaching out and sending me these. Uh, we enjoyed looking through your package today. And I'm so excited about this awesome stack of Lizzie Cates and the great little waxing moon design one. So that is about it for stitching related stuff. So I will briefly chat a little life update and then bid you farewell for this evening. So, um, you may have heard some little whispers. That is because Joyful Little One is sitting right there. Um, she is hanging out at home this evening. And so that's kind of fun. She was watching Trolls World Tour, which if you did not know, came out to buy on Amazon on the 23rd. And we bought it that morning. So we now own it, which is great. So it's been running on repeat. A lot. Um, she promised she would not be disruptive. She hasn't been yet. But who knows? I'm talking about her. Her ears are burning. Um, so anyway, we've kind of had a busy-ish week. She had swim lessons. She did awesome. And she got to see her two little bestie friends. And I got to see their moms that are my good friends also. 
So we're done with swim lessons. We've got a lot of pool reservations next week to get the energy out in the mornings. And I think on Monday I'm going to head up to the school and kind of assess what all needs to be hung back on the walls after painting this summer and what needs to be put away. And I might even measure for some partitions and just kind of organize and sort and get my head wrapped back around my teaching space. In C19 news, um, we starting tonight at six o'clock, so it's already started. Um, we are on mandatory masks in our county. Um, anywhere that you go um, through August 3rd. And so I had to real quickly order some some more net gaiters for Mr. Joyfield. I've ordered more masks for Joyfield Little One just because we had two. We have two that are really thick, two that are like better for her, and they also have animal faces on them. And so I ordered some more of those. I have plenty of masks. Um, we don't intend to really be going anywhere. We have not been to a restaurant. I was talking to my friend who has been eating in restaurants but has now decided that she's done with that. She's going to go back to take out and food service, like food delivery. Um, our numbers have risen, um, and that's what's prompted this. And I'm all for it. I've been wearing a mask everywhere I go anyway, so it's no different for me. And so has Joyfield Little One. Now, she is actually exempt from wearing them. Um, you, It's 10 and over, but she will continue to wear them because that's good practice, and it's being a rule follower, and it's just showing respect and care for other folks and for our aging and our immunosuppressed friends and things of that nature. So, um, obviously, there's been a lot going on in the world within the last couple of weeks. I really haven't addressed it, and... Um, just know that I love each and every one of you and I appreciate your time that you spend here with me and know that you're seen and you're heard. Um, and I just pray that things will come to positive resolutions that make the people that need to have the positive resolutions happy. Um, going forward into July, we are supposed to be doing some camps we'll see if that's going to happen I'm not sure with the new regulations being put in place like I said we're going to be visiting the pool because it's outside and that's fun and awesome and I have gone to another counseling appointment it went fantastic so thank you to all of you for your well wishes prayers and support in that front um, I am really feeling connected with my counselor and I look forward to seeing her this coming week also again and so yeah things are things are looking up things are doing really well and just again thank you so much for those of you that have shared your your love support your kindness um honestly let's just be kind to one another if nothing else let's love one another and be kind to one another and with that i know that this is totally jan hicks thing but i love these and i want to share them with you so if you're getting repeats off of her channel i apologize but i want to share them with you. So these are the Teresa Kogut Angel Kindness cards. And the one that um, I focused on this week is this beautiful young lady. She has um, a bird in her hand, a bluebird, and it says, spread love everywhere you go. And that is Mother Teresa. And it says, live with courage and share your light with others. So let us all live with courage this week, this coming week. Let's share our inner light with others. Um, and let's just continue to practice kindness towards one another and compassion and care. And let's let people's voices be heard and let their words mean something. Um, and with that, I really think I'm pretty much done. And we're probably going to go finish up some trolls. I'm going to get some stitching in on um, Cherish All Living Things. Then we're going to start working through some of those plans. And watch for that special edition video that floss tube extra coming some point this week and with that i'm gonna bid you so long stitch well i'll see you soon my friends goodbye goodbye